So, maybe you're contemplating the idea of starting your own business. However, you might be wondering, I don't have any money, how can I make this happen? Well, I'd like to discuss some approaches that could enable you to launch a small business with little to no capital. The first option is to consider a service-based business. If you were to venture into a product-based business, involving manufacturing, it can be quite challenging without initial funds due to inventory, production, and parts costs. In contrast, a service-based business, where you offer your services or even the services of others, is much more feasible to start without a significant investment. Therefore, if that's your situation, it might be prudent to concentrate on service-oriented ventures. Secondly, it's beneficial to start in an industry that you are knowledgeable about and passionate about. This recommendation holds true even if you possess ample funds, but it becomes even more critical when you have limited resources. Opting for an industry you are familiar with and have experience in will reduce your costs significantly. Instead of spending time and money on research and familiarization, you can dive right in and utilize your expertise. The third option is freelancing, which can serve as a way to earn money while you build your business. Think of it as an apprenticeship, where you can practice your skills and work for others while developing your abilities. Freelancing allows you to offer your skills to various clients as you gain confidence and prepare to transition into a full-time business. Next, consider selling what you don't yet have. This may sound unconventional, but it can be quite effective. Selling a service before having it fully prepared can work remarkably well. For instance, you can offer a time management training program to potential clients before its complete development. This not only brings an upfront revenue but also motivates you to finalize the offering. It can prove to be a successful approach. Finally, working for free might seem counterintuitive, but it can be a smart strategy, especially when starting a business. Marketing and advertising expenses can be significant initially, but working for someone with a wide network can lead to numerous referrals quickly, saving you on marketing costs. You can offer your product or service for free to a well-connected individual, with the agreement that they will provide numerous referrals if they are satisfied. This can rapidly expand your customer base, just like it did for me at the early stage of my coaching career. I hope these tips instill more confidence in you as you embark on your entrepreneurial journey, even without a dime to spare.